down and dirty with the succulent superstar of San Diego. I just created that name for you. I like it. Jessica Kane, self-proclaimed succulent master. We're going to turn this little thing here into this masterpiece, succulent pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkins we're actually going to adhesively attach sheet moss on top of a pumpkin so we can just start gluing a ton of glue and this does not affect the succulents from growing it does not hurt the succulent or the pumpkin and then you can place some sheet moss right on top of that glue with and you were saying don't be afraid to just overdo it on the glue here yes and this is just basic sheet moss you can get it at home depot if you're making these at home I just laugh because you're so crafty. Like, I would never think to, like, glue succulents on a pumpkin. You have high standards for me. It's not going to happen. No, there is something that anyone can craft. Uh -huh. Trust me. Okay, so we've got the moss on we the pumpkin. We got the moss down. Perfect. I know. Just get rid of those little spider webs of little hot glue things. And then, once your foundation is really secure, place the succulent on top of the moss, and we're going to add an additional layer of hot glue kind of like a sandwich technique. Don't be afraid to really get in there with the glue. We want it securely attached to the pumpkin. Glue, moss, glue, okay. Glue, moss, glue. And then in essence, this process will continue until the whole thing is covered with the succulents, right? Absolutely, or you've reached your limit on your patience. <laughs> Here's like a little mini one. This is what it's gonna look like. And that's super cute. It is so perfect to say, hey, I'm thankful for you gift. Or hey, little big centerpiece, little for Thanksgiving. Perfect. This is why you're the succulent superstar.